YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what it do? It is your boy King Kane, aka the Fit Pharaoh, coming at you with another video. It's been a while, guys, but it's time to get another workout in. Today is gonna be a shoulder day, so we're really gonna get into it. I got my boy Tommy Gun in here. I ain't gonna put it all in his face right now, but you know, because he's doing this thing and shit. But yeah, so I'm getting in with my boy Tommy Gun. We're gonna try to kill this thing. Look at him over there. This guy right here, man. All right, so without further ado, guys, let's get into it. He, oh, he, 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 quiet today. He don't want to talk to nobody. All right, guys, let's get into it. So starting off back, as you know, I like to do warm ups first. It's just something to do to get your mouth, your muscles ready and warmed up, and ready to go. Obviously, because that's why it's called a warm up. Uh, you know, when I'm doing these flies, man, I'm doing a 90 degree angle fly. I like doing it because one, it really attacks the posterior muscles on your shoulders. And it's just something that is just really effective to give you that nice rounded boulder like look. I've been doing it for a while and I like the effects that I've gotten from it. So I always try to incorporate that in my shoulder warm up workout. I'm also doing my front shoulder raises. I'm doing the single handed ones. You can do, you can do single or double handed. It, it really depends on you. I like personally doing single-handed ones. Uh, every set that I do that you're seeing right now, I do three sets of 15 with the warm-up. But that's pretty much my normal rep and set range anyway, because again, I'm trying to lean out and keep whatever muscle that I already have. Not so much gain size. All right, now we're going on to the shoulder press. Again, the warm-up set. Always do three sets of 15, no higher, no lower. Again, this, you shouldn't be, when, you get, when you're warming up, you shouldn't be using weights that you are really focused on the weight, like the size. If it's, if it's heavy weight, then it's not a warm-up. That's technically working out. You want something just to warm those muscles up and get it lubed, you know? Alright, getting into this workout. So, what I'm starting off here is one plate. I'm doing a T-bar back pull. I'm doing three sets of 15 as always. Like I said, every exercise that you're going to see is always going to be three sets of 15. All right. So when I'm doing this, I kind of keep my my back arched and I'm kind of leaning up as high as I can. I'm a little tall for this one. So, you know, it was kind of it was a little uncomfortable, but it was OK. I was able to make do with it and get the pull that I needed and the specific muscles that I'm trying to work. When you're doing this one, it's not really centering your latch. It's more so centering your rhomboids. So the rhomboid is the big center part in your back and your upper back that kind of is attached to your traps or trapezius muscle, if you want to be uh, technically correct. Technical, you know. Anyway, so yeah, when you're doing it, you want a nice squeeze. You don't have to do it real fast. You really want to go at a nice moderate pace. You want it's like a concentrated pull almost when you're doing it. So I went up that time. I had two plates on it. Now I got um, I got two 45s and a 35 on. And that's going to be as high as I go. I could go much heavier than that. But again, I'm not trying to get this massive back. I'm just trying to keep a nice, I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep my strength that I have and lean out. Okay. So again, have a nice arch in your back. Lift up as high as you can. Go from there. All right. So my boy Tommy Guns, he's going to start us off here. Now, when we started off doing these sets, we had did some sets before off camera so we're not exactly fresh here which is fine because if you was always fresh when you did a set it'd be lying to you guys and that's just not what we're about we don't do that stuff all right so as you can see here he was starting to feel it a little bit same here and again i have no problem telling anybody yeah he's slightly stronger than me uh matter of fact he might be a lot stronger than me to be honest um i was only able to hit it twice he hit it three times last time I couldn't get it up so he had to help me and it, that's another good thing you should always have somebody there to help you I, I can't emphasize how much I'm telling a lot of people you need a spotter even if you think you can get it as you can see I couldn't get that last one up and he had to help me out no shame in that guys you always have a guy out there that's stronger than you you're always gonna have somebody who's stronger than you it all depends on what you're gonna do after that you know I know he's stronger than me and I got to be able to keep up with him or try to surpass him that's the competitive world of fitness. All right, so we dropped the weight. 
and we're starting to wrap it out and these are what we did sets of 15. I'm not going to show you the whole thing but you know we did sets of 15. I mean three sets of 15 reps. Sorry. <sighs> Alright, off to the next exercise. Again, I did these in a warm-up, but I also added it to my workout as well. Because again, it really helps lubricate those muscles and you're still getting a great pump and a good workout from it. I can even see my veins a little bit through my shirt. Same thing with my boy Tommy Guns. Now we do things slightly different. Like he's starting off with his front raise first because he's really trying to get the uh, the front shoulder head of his muscles to pop first which it doesn't matter which one pops first you just want to get an overall nice aesthetic look you know you want symmetry to it so you got to work it all no matter what order you do it in it doesn't really matter but for each one that we're doing again is three sets of 15 and you see he's real concentrated right here too good man good man So here it looked kind of funny, but it was supposed to be a transition, so that's my fault. Anyway, going into the next part of the workout, again, it's the same thing, I just want a little bit heavier. When doing these shoulder raises, because you know, I box and stuff, I don't need to go no heavier than maybe 20 pounds. Occasionally I'll do 25, but when I'm doing shoulder raises and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need to go heavier than 20 pounds. All right. Going to the front shoulder raise or front shoulder rows, whatever you want to call it. I call it, you know, I switch names for it sometimes. I probably shouldn't. Anyway, again, three sets of 15, getting it in. Nice focus, good contraction. So that, was, that night was a real good night, man. We really got some work done. It's always good to have somebody to work out with, too. Again, I normally don't like to work out with people. There, there are the few people that I really will work out with that helps motivate me and pushes me even harder. And he just happens to be one of those people. But like I was saying, guys, posture is also a good thing. Here, I went up a little higher, too, on weight. So... If you know you can go up higher in weight and it won't hurt you and you're not really straining to get the weight up, then by all means, go up. I didn't have to do it, but I decided to. All right, back into the back rows, you know, trying to really attack the back again because I did enough with shoulders. Now, one thing I really want to emphasize on is that the way you do your back pulls, like how he's doing it right now, he's doing it with his arms up high. So when he's doing it with his arms up high, you can see his lats, which are the sides of his back, being contracted the most. When I was doing it earlier, I was really, uh, um, dang. I was really focusing on the center part of my back, which is the rhomboid. The rhomboid is the part that's connected basically to your trapezius muscle. So again, angles play a big role. I don't know why I'm having such a tongue twisting day, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. See, with his arms up high like that, you can see the size of his back, which is his lats, being worked and contracted the most. Same thing here. Um, with my arms up high, I'm really contracting the lats more, and then you can see what's really being worked. But posture plays a big role, guys. You center, you squeeze your back and kind of like stick your stomach out or your chest, whichever makes you feel more comfortable. You want to have a nice arch in your back. That's what's going to make a big difference on what muscle is actually being contracted the most. Like here, I'm actually getting a nice squeeze on my rhomboids, but normally when you're doing this, it's for your lats. Versus when I had my arms low and I was bent forward some, that was more so right here. Basically, right here was more centered for my back, my center back, which is the rhomboid area. Versus how having my hands up high was more so centered on the lats. So angles and height play a big role too on muscle uh, growth. Just thought I'd throw it in there. Anyway, that was the workout, guys. I hope you liked it. I'm getting into this intro real quick. And stick around because there'll be some more information on his channel. And more to come. All right, so this will be your outro. All right, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that was the workout video. This was really a shoulder and back day for me, personally. But my boy, Tommy Guns, you saw him in some of the clips as well. Uh... Damn, what training, were you working? Shoulders and traps. So keep getting it mixed yeah. up. I was training shoulders and traps. He was training shoulders and back. Yeah. 
So sometimes when I do collab with my boy, we're not always gonna be working the same exact muscles, but to an extent we'll be doing some parts doing this together. But this was a pretty good workout with him in it as well. So with that being said, guys, it's good to have a video out. Um, sorry it took so long for me to get another workout video on, but you know I finally got to get a good one in with my boy here. Uh, the link to his channel will be in the description. You'll see it at the end of the video as well. That has been my time, King Kane the Fit Pharaoh. Collab with my boy Tommy Guns. We out. He gone.